welcome back to this channel. This is Crypto 101 here and we have Meme Land. This is actually a project I've been watching for a long time. What really caught my eye about this project first is the name, Meme. Everyone likes a meme. The entire Twitter space is based off of memes. That's what goes viral. Good branding, good name, 16-bit art. Those tend to do well. Now, who's behind this project, 9gag? This guy is an OG influencer that has 200 million across all social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. Also, this project is backed by some of the biggest investors across the world. So we have First Round Capital, Freestyle Capital, Great Crop Partners, True Ventures, Y Combinator, we are all heard of, and 500 startups partnering with them and more. So let's see what else they have. They also have 2.8 million raised, Y Combinator, 500 Global, that's the incubators they're in, Series A Round Funding of 2.8 million over a meme site, a humor site by 9gag. These investors, large hedge fund, they know the value of this and they know who's behind it and who can make moves in this market. So meme land takes place on an island. There's a total of 9,999 NFTs in a collection. It's a PFP. Each NFT PFP unlocks a token, which is called Meme. Also it offers private club membership. They have access to NFT marketplace too. It's something to keep in mind in real life events. So you can see them in New York when they have all the other events and upcoming drops. So they're going to be giving a lot of value, a lot of utility for this uh, NFT that you're going to be holding. For holding an NFT, the Meme Land NFT, you get to earn Meme by holding it or staking it. I believe you probably earn more by staking, right? That's the only way to make sense. Or actively playing or also creating content. So to participate, to create content, to help grow the ecosystem, that's a great reward. It's a nice ecosystem they have here. And as usual, it's also used as a governance token. So there's no roadmap. They're just trying to connect Web2 to Web3 communities. And Nygag has 14 year track record of building communities in social media with testimonials. So they're going to deliver regardless. Now, whoever got this, the first you, the real MVP, there's a 420 legendary MVP NFT that was released that offers you the premium membership into Meme Land ecosystem. So these holders were given free mints of potatoes. They're also going to get two free Meme Land captains, NFTs. And this is key here. You got to look at this current price for this. Each one of these are going for 32 floor ETH, right? So lowest price you can get in on one of these MVPs is 32 ETH. But there's only 420, very limited supply, hence the high price value. Now this thing started at around like 5 ETH on the secondary market after the release. That's a huge increase off of 5 ETH investment. When investing into anything, whether it's crypto, DeFi, or NFTs, I always recommend sticking with the biggest projects. I mean, honestly, they could all disappear. They could always just come in and, and hype it up, sell some uh, IDOs, NFT projects, and just disappear. But now you have this entire all-star team of Gary V, Gutter Cat Gang, here's some notable ones, Kevin Rose, founder of Moonbirds, also founder of Premint, Tim Ferriss, who we all know from 4-Hour Workweek, Kaiju Kings are in it, also Naval, which is also another big influencer. So you have an all-star team, public faces, they are not rugging anybody. You already can see Meme Lamb has 446,000 followers on Twitter alone. Not many projects have this many followers. So now, how do you get into Meme Lamb? Is to get potatoes. One way is to get potatoes. These here, all right? So in the past seven days, it was trending on number one for a while, but right now dropped to number two because CryptoPunks had collaboration with Tiffany, Tiffany Diamonds, and they took the spotlight. So potatoes at number two, but let's see what the floor is right now. It's 1.14. I seen this uh, yesterday at a peak of 1.4 had a nice run all the way from 0.7 ETH to 1.4 within a couple of days less than a day just out of out of the blue it's pulling back consolidating potentially a good time to actually start watching it and trying to get it at a lower price and the ratio is still about half so every holder has about two potatoes on average which is good this is actually a good start right over here you can see that each potatoes is your entry ticket into the great meme land ecosystem by either holding potatoes or staking it this is going to give you your chance to get into meme land this is why i do recommend taking a look at this and trying to get one or two potatoes just to try to enter the meme land ecosystem let it pull back a little bit it should be closer to one eve pretty soon hopefully and if it was me i wouldn't want to take a chance because it's already close to one eve i would get one during this price here 1.14 if it drops further under one pick one up too you know at a better discount to average out a better price but that's what i'll personally do just to make sure my foot's in the door you don't want to miss out on this project with this kind of lineup of influencers 
just their reach it's unstoppable at this point all right so here's the potatoes website you know what's cool they actually did sos um coding over here and so if you could read this you get more information it was actually used during the mint the whitelist mint not much information on their website but the mint's over it's already on the secondary and on the first few days let's see what was the price because i had this on my radar it was on my twitter feed notifications on i was able to find out about the mint but then i didn't try to get on the whitelist it's too much work for me so i just skipped that I waited for it to get on a secondary as soon as it launched on secondary i picked one up at 0.6 and and immediately in the next few days it started taking off peaking out at one and pulling back here. So Charles looks good. This is just a continuous uptrend. That's what it looks like to me. So this might be something you want to keep an eye out for to try to get into the meme that ecosystem. Backed by the biggest influencers in the space. And just like I say, you know, if you want to get into any projects, stick with the biggest ones. Board Ape Yacht Club. You couldn't go wrong there, you know, you, but if you're able to dish out the money, like spend a little extra to get premium projects. Don't make the same mistake I did. When I first seen NFTs take off and I made the switch before most people even realized it, I try to go for the lower end projects. I try to go for ones that, are, that have more upside potential but are more risky and i missed out on immune a for three ETH, and i had to pay 17 ETH when usd value became somewhere closer to 70 000 so had i just invested more and took a bigger risk in the beginning for the better projects i would have been a lot well off just with three ETH, right for immune eight i believe uh board of yacht club or ogs were priced around 20 to 25 a lot more affordable back then so just stick with the biggest projects bitcoin ETH. you can't go wrong with those that should be your bigger stash now you even have smaller mid caps i mean there's a lot of potential backed by the big teams this is kind of it that's that's what i'll consider meme land potatoes it's already a blue chip i mean if you're talking about uh there you had a real mvp being at 32 floor eve it's nothing to ignore check it out only uh close to one eve to get your foot in the door to meme land might be worth it hey if the price drops now cool get another one that's what i'm gonna do all right so if you guys like this information make sure to like this video so i know that you guys want more of this kind of content and tell me what you guys like comment below if you have any questions i'm always here to answer and follow me at crypto 101 underscore tweet if you want more up-to-date content faster and i'll see you guys on the next one